This is a <laughs> weird movie. <laughs> Did you have some sugar? How fun he can be. It's a good one. What I love about Laura is her good singing voice. What I love about you is that you play with me always and you forgive me always. Sounds like Janae just woke up. Let me go get Wait. her. We find that our days go much better when they start with a lot of love. Good morning. Did you find a sock? She's ready to go outside. You need a diaper change? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. All right, Janae's having some breakfast. Okay, Lise, what do you love about Manene? What I love about you is that you always make me happy when I'm grumpy. Nene, what do you love about Isaac? There he is. <laughs> I love how cheerful she can be. She's just a peacemaker. What I like about Janae is that she smiles, and when I'm sad and when I'm sleeping, she always comes and helps me awake. And wakes you up? Mm -hmm. Yes, she does. She'll come wake up anybody. Yeah. So I've been so excited that these sprinkler enforcers have been working, but they have a limited range. So I had to put down this netting to protect this side over here. It looks like I'm gonna have to do the same thing on this side of the yard. Our yard is just too big for only two of the sprinklers. Oh, so frustrating. The saga continues. So apparently Laura and Caleb have prepared a show this morning while they were doing their chores. We gotta head upstairs and start some school. The Golden Gate Bridge by Kate Riggs. The Golden Gate Bridge is a long bridge. So here's a map of San Francisco where we're going. And this is called a strait. A strait is a tiny part where the water goes in. So this strait was called the Golden Gate Strait. So this book covers 13 bridges that children should know. And I'm surprised I've actually been on a couple of them. So here's, I don't know how to pronounce it, but Ponte Vecchio. That's in Florence, Italy. I've been there. So this is the Tower Bridge from London. It was built from 1887 to 1895. Now we're gonna have the kids use paper to each design a bridge that's gonna go across these two cups and see how many pennies it can hold up. One, two, nine, ten, eleven, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen. Oh! oh. Triangles are a strong shape. All right, here's Caleb's bridge. I like your support beam. It has a lot of paper in it. It's got a cool tunnel too. So we're at five. Nine, ten, oh. Oh, <laughs> Good job. job. I love your design. That seems like a super strong pillar. Did you build this bridge? Yeah. All by yourself. Uh -huh. Two, three, Four. Oh! Here's Caleb's redesign. He kept the strong pillar, but widened his bridge. 27, 34, 35. Is your new redesign beating your first design? Mm -hmm. Way to go. I'm gonna do what engineers do. Make it over and over again until it works. Great idea. So for their gymnastics, they're doing more American Ninja Warrior stuff. The kids are loving it. <laughs> uh. 
going. Let's hope we can do it. Ah, that's so hard. It's pretty exhausting, huh? You want to try that one? <laughs> I made it, <laughs> Little afternoon snack. Prince so lucky to have more rain. We are loving our deck so much. Okay, I'm gonna read you guys a book while you're having your snack called Fly High, Fly Low. And it's written by Don Freeman. He's the same author that wrote Corduroy. Do any of you guys remember Corduroy? Mm -hmm. In the beautiful city of San Francisco, a city famous for its fogs and flowers, cable cars and towers, there once stood an electric light sign on top of a tall building. Isaac has built a pillar. Did you run out of pennies? Yeah, we gotta get more pennies. Oh yeah. What do you want? 50. Next up are quarters. See if you can add 10 quarters. Nine. 10. All 10 quarters? Yeah. Wow, that support beam is really doing a lot. It's not even sagging. You built a strong pillar. So he's at 100 pennies, 10 quarters, and 20 nickels. In hindsight, maybe we shouldn't have allowed support beams for the bridges. But I built the support beam. You did. It's creative. We're gonna try to get all of the coins on there. The indestructible bridge. Yeah, the Golden Gate Bridge could probably. Oh, it's trying to sag in. Well, can it fit me? What did you put in your support beam, dude? It'll be spectacular if it crumbles. Last one. If it falls over on this one. All of the change. Do, 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 do. All right, the water okay, bottle. Water bottle right in the center. Ah! Oh! <laughs> These two are building what kind of a bridge? Suspension. And what's a good example of a suspension bridge? Golden Gate Bridge. <laughs> you guys finished it. Yep. Wow. Wonder how many pennies it could hold. Yeah, that's true. Not as much as my paper one. I don't know. I bet it could hold a lot. Yeah, but look, it's literally hanging. It's not connected from the bottom. This part is holding it up from these towers. It's a suspension bridge. Right? And then these <laughs> cables are also helping hold it up. The cables are on fire. Mm. This is in a weird <laughs> mood. Did you have some sugar? <laughs> she hasn't had any sugar. She just has had a lot of gills. Third try. Your base is nice and big. 50. 50, look at that grin. 59. 100. Nice. I was taking care of Janae and Miss the fall of his last bridge, but he got up to 125 points. Janae's still having a hard moment. 125 on the pennies. That's what I help. Our spelling curriculum is starting out with some review for the kids, so to make it more interesting, I found some fun ways for them to write their letters. Today they're using these rainbow mini scratch art things. Ready for your next word? Mm -hmm. Map. Nice. Beginning of the year review. Leftovers for lunch, taco salad. During lunch we're listening to Beethoven. And Laura decided to dance to it. Very dramatic. <laughs> Mom joins in. The boys can't resist. There we go. <laughs> Sanitizing the hands. Today, Caleb has a celiac disease checkup with our specialty doctor, so we're headed in to see how much he's grown and how his progress is progressing. Well, the appointment was a little chaotic with all the kids, but they actually did really well, and all of the results of Caleb's follow-up and progress were amazing. His lab results, his blood draws, show great healing and progress, and that is just thrilling. You know, it's taken so much sacrifice and work and effort to try to figure out how to live a gluten-free lifestyle, and so to know that his body is showing the great results of that, that his body is healing, and he's gonna be able to grow, and I'm just, I'm just happy. Today's a good day. What did the doctor tell us? I can eat oatmeal. So 
instead of using noodles, I'm using zucchini noodles. So zoodles. And mac Laura and has mac and cheese, so she's a happy camper. Nene loves ice. Say ice. Say ice. Say miso. She's ignoring me. <laughs> Do you want some? Dad, I got some. I'm good. Good night. Do you have My name is Bot. I'm from Arizona. I read this book every morning. You can it's a quote, and I think that you guys should read it as a family. Hi, my name is Marion. I'm from Quebec, Canada, and this is one of my favorite books. It's Everything, Everything by Nicolas Yoon, and this is the French version. And I love this book because it really shows how getting out of your comfort zone can make you discover the most beautiful things. Jai Hao Sao! The Dancing it. Goalie! What'd you guys find? A mole. 